Hey guys, so before we get into the Paris Luxury Haul, I want to show you guys how I rejuvenate and hydrate my skin prior to going on long haul trips like this one to Paris. I will do this to sort of rejuvenate my skin and hydrate it prior to traveling using Nebulift's um, device I will get into right now. This device was created for mature skincare and it utilizes patented gold electrodes to deliver precise RF energy in less than 10 minutes. And it can adapt to various skin types and areas, including the sensitive eye region effectively reducing swelling. My skin becomes very dry and swollen in flight, so this is the perfect way to prep the skin for those longer flights. The La Rose color embodies the tranquility of Nebulift, and it was inspired by the Los Angeles sunset captured at Sunset Boulevard, and the shade represents the natural beauty of progression. The La Rose device provides quick hydration that reduces swelling in dark circles, and it improves the skin's overall complexion. It also effectively improves smile lines, fine lines, and neckline problems in only seven days of using it. It also promotes collagen cell regeneration and one thing about me is I am obsessed with collagen. I take collagen supplements in pull form and put collagen powder in my breakfast smoothie every morning. If you want to stay looking young and have youthful skin, collagen is the key to that. So I really love that benefit of this device. I love that it has wireless charging so it's perfect to just grab and go and I bring this with me on longer vacations as well so I can give my skin an extra hydration boost while doing my skincare routines in hotels. I also have sensitive skin, so for those of you who also have sensitive skin, it has an automatic shutdown after 10 minutes and 5 radio frequency energy level adjustments, so it's suitable for all skin types. I personally am using level 3 at the moment, but when I first started using this, I started at level 2, so I would recommend level 2 if you have sensitive skin like myself. So to turn the device on, you just press the side button on the device, and then you click the circle button on the front of the device to select which energy level you want to use, and again, I'm using level 3 right now, but I did start with level 2. After seven days, you will notice that your skin is a lot softer, it's glowing, luminous, and just tighter overall, which is just really nice, especially for makeup application. I've noticed this has definitely helped my makeup to go on a lot more seamlessly. So I cleanse my skin prior to using this, then I apply the gel evenly on the panel, and I use the RF array panel to gently circle around my face, and you will feel a little bit of warmth, but that's it. Then I cleanse my face again after the treatment and do my follow-up skincare steps, and that's it. It's super easy and quick. Here's how my skin looks after using it. I am breaking out at the moment. I haven't had a breakout in probably two years, but of course when I'm filming this, my skin decides to have a little breakout moment. So if you're looking for an affordable way to provide hydration, reduce fine lines and dark circles, promote collagen cell generation, just improve the overall complexion of your skin, I definitely recommend trying Nebulift's R1C La Rose device. I love the device, it's very lightweight, so it fits perfectly in my little travel skincare slash hair care bag. I do keep all my skincare and hair care in one bag. It's very lightweight, it fits perfectly as well as the gel, and I will have the price and discount code in the description box as well as a link to purchase, and now let's get right into the haul. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell from the title, we will be doing my Paris shopping haul. It's been a couple weeks. I definitely should have filmed this earlier. I just was very busy. I had a lot of work to do and was also out of town a lot. So we're just now getting to it. Um, it's not that many things. It's mostly pharmacy things, but I also have some things from Louis Vuitton, uh, Longchamp, Prada, and I think that was it for the designer purchases. So the first thing is this Nice BB. It's basically a kind of larger size toiletry case. I've seen this everywhere. So many people have this. It's been out for a while. It's nothing new. I'm sure many of you are familiar with what this is. Um, I just didn't, it didn't make sense to me. I'd seen it everywhere. My mom was like, oh, that's really nice. You should look into purchasing that. And I was just like spending over a thousand dollars for a toiletry case didn't make sense to me because I don't know about you, but for me when I'm traveling, a lot of the times my toiletries, whether it's makeup, uh, you know, skincare, body care, whatever it is, hair care, things can explode while on the plane, like while traveling. So whether it's a hairspray explodes or a moisturizer, um, or in this case, I'd probably keep makeup in here. Sometimes a powder breaks or something in the air or just through traveling uh, And I wouldn't want a powder then getting all over the bag So it never made sense to me to purchase this prior to obviously it's made sense now That's why I have it, but I just didn't it couldn't make sense to end up ruining the bag when it's over a thousand dollars to have it for like toiletries But it's just so much I've been eyeing this for a while and I just finally decided I need it and I think my solution for not having any toiletries like spill inside of it is just to keep them in a Ziploc bag for travel. So while they're in my suitcase and whatnot, have them in a zip, um, Ziploc bag. And then when I arrive at my destination, then just take removing the Ziploc bag and then, you know, just having to do the Ziploc bag thing for the like travel process of in the plane. And then when I'm actually there, I'll remove the Ziploc and then I'll have to obviously put everything back in the Ziploc 
to leave again, which is kind of an ordeal, but I just think this looks so aesthetically pleasing when I've seen people who own this. I believe they have several sizes. Um, when I first uh, purchased this in Paris at the Galleries Lafayette, I'm sure there's, I think there's several Galleries Lafayette. I'm not sure, but I purchased it. Um, I'm not even sure what one I purchased it at. I just put in whatever one was closest to my hotel, and that's the one I went to. Um, and it's basically, if you aren't familiar with this, it's a cosmetics bag that has a zipper around it. And so it has two little pouches here, so you could put like little eyeliners or whatever in here, tweezers, scissors. I always carry like miniature scissors when I'm traveling. Um, so this is this bag. I don't know if it's considered a bag, niece BB, it's like more like a toiletry case. Um, they did have other sizes. <laughs> when I first went there, I, I always know what I want, so if I go into a store, obviously if it's something like the grocery store, just uh, frivolous shopping, like a pharmacy in Paris. I don't really have like necessarily a list at all times and I'll buy random things, but with designer things, I like to research and pick exactly what I want before I go in store. Um, so I had shown a photo of this and they said so they knew this is what I wanted. And then the guy shows me this enormous, uh, I don't know, it was probably this large um, bag that's basically this, but it's like their largest size and it also is able to be one crossbody. That was not what I was looking for, but they do have that. If you're interested, and he was saying how his sister has it, um, and it has this like large mirror when you flip this part open. So if you wanted something larger that has a mirror, if you're someone like very into makeup or your makeup bar or something, think that something like that might be more suitable. But for me, I don't wear a lot of makeup as we can see, so I don't need this enormous bag. I really just wanted something that I've been eyeing this for a while, um, I just it couldn't make sense to me about the toiletries exploding, but we've come up with a Ziploc solution. If anyone else has this and you have any tips or maybe like you've spilled something in it before and it was able to be cleaned very easily, um, let me know in the comment section because my at the moment my solution is to do the Ziploc bag method. Um, if there's something better or if somebody knows of something that I'm unaware of, definitely leave it in the comments. Um, and then it also has this zipper on the top here, so if you wanted things kind of more enclosed, you could put it here. For me, I don't wear a lot of makeup, just my makeup alone is not occupying this entire case. So for me, I would probably put like maybe some jewelry in here, and then like makeup and skincare in here or something. Definitely makeup and hair care, something like that where it's going to occupy more than just makeup for myself. But I just love how aesthetically pleasing this is on your vanity or if you're traveling in the hotel. Um, a lot of the hotels I stay at tend to have like very gorgeous marble bathrooms. Um, my other house has marble bathrooms as well, but it's not, you know, I don't know, I feel like in hotels everything is marble in the bathrooms and it just looks very aesthetically pleasing for like content or just for your own vibe. So I definitely like this for that aspect and I know it's a little silly to buy something for just the vibes, that's not exactly you know, cheap by any means, but that's literally why I bought this, was just for the aesthetically pleasing vibe aspect of this sitting out on the vanity or on the counter and just, it's just a vibe moment um, and it's definitely not practical in the sense of your makeup and skincare can definitely explode in this. Um, if you're someone who just does road trips or something, then, I, you know, for me, if I'm just doing a road trip kind of travel trip, I wouldn't be putting everything in a Ziploc and this would be really suitable for something like that. But I've just noticed a lot of the times, one every three times I travel, something explodes in my luggage. So everything um, that's liquid product, you know, whether it's makeup or skincare, hair care, body care, I always have it in a Ziploc bag and I even pack extra Ziploc bags just because I don't want things exploding and getting on my clothes or in this case, um, ruining this bag. So I know this is a very sturdy, durable material. I have many bags from high school that are the typical, this typical um, iconic monogram Louis Vuitton um, canvas. Um, it's not something I wear anymore for handbags because um, I'm just not someone that's very into logos as we know, but I don't know, I thought this would be just nice to have on the vanity and I did purchase the last one and luckily it was one that hadn't been touched or anything. So we have already gone over that. I don't like display bags. So the next thing I'm going to be sharing is a Prada headband. So the headband came fully wrapped like this. I haven't even unwrapped it because I've been waiting to film this video. So this is the headband. The Prada does offer other headbands that are, I think it's a velvet or like a, um, I'm not sure, it's a very, kind of like tuft material uh, where it's larger, it's a lot thicker of a headband. We saw those there as well. And it has like a lot much larger in size uh, Prada Triangle logo on the top. Um, I don't like, again, anything that's very um, loud. I don't like too loud of things. So I like this one better and so did my mom. Um, she was in between on a few because I had other colors of this and I thought the natural color was best. It can go with everything. Um, and for what we're intending to wear things like this as is literally just like at resorts, 
in Cannes or Capri or whatever um, and going out laying by the beach shopping going out to eat like that's our activity so you know I just think that this would be it's typically traveling that we wear things like this we don't wear you know our Prada headband to go to Trader Joe's around our house um, when we're at home I just thought a natural color would be better because when you're traveling, you know, sure she could have purchased, I think they had a kind of coral color and then pink or something like that. Um, I believe I might have shown it in my the Parasic vlog at the very end of it because it's only like three minutes of that video. It's the Parasic Pack With Me video and there's only like three minutes of it at the end of their vlog. And I think I showed most of the headbands. I don't think all of them because she had to bring some of them out that she had put away. That's another thing is if you want something, that's why I like to go into stores knowing what I want. A lot of the times... They don't have everything on display, so it's just better you know what you want, you research online first, you show the picture, and then they can go in the back and get it for you because I'd say 75% of the time something that I want is not on display. It's not even, you wouldn't know they have it if you didn't research online and look. Um, so these, they didn't have on display at all. Um, she had to pull them out from the back. This one might have been, um, I'm not sure. I think we had to ask for all the headbands, but they had a lot of more so winter kind of uh, headbands out, nothing like summery, and I thought this was so cute and raffia very suitable for summer and for our activities if we're just traveling, you know, um, it makes more sense to purchase a neutral color as opposed to colorful colors that definitely were also very nice, but then they don't go with everything, you know. So I'll a tag on it because I'm not gonna, I know my mom gets like the gratification of when she like cuts the scissors on the tag, so I'm gonna wait since this is hers and I'm just going to be borrowing it. I'm going to wait till, you know, she can do it. Um, but yeah, so here's the headband. It might look kind of funny. Next are some things from Longchamp. So I have two tote bags and then two, I'm not sure what they're called. Um, I'll have everything linked below. They're kind of like a little miniature keychain handbag. Um, uh, we'll get into those in a minute, but I actually realized that they don't have the keychain ability, which is what I purchased them for. My mom, one of these are my mom and the other one's mine. Um, so I might need to purchase a separate key. We'll get into that when I show that item, but let's do the tote bags first. So the first one, this is my tote bag that I picked out. It's just a pink one. Um, I already have this same tote bag in uh, neutral and black, I think. Um, I just wanted like kind of a fun, again, like everything I'm kind of purchasing right now is geared at fun summer accessories. So I thought this would be nice because I feel like so many people, like just even two years ago when I would go to the airport, there weren't, this bag was not everywhere. No, not a lot of people had this bag. Now when you go to the airport, so many people have this bag and not in pink, which is why I purchased the pink. I wanted something different. Anyways, I've just seen that this bag everywhere at the airport lately, like when I went to Bora Bora, I noticed even more so, and I point out my mom, like no one had this bag, I'm like no one, but you saw it, you know, maybe one every 50 people had or something. Literally everyone that was going through TSA had that long champ bag, the same one in the like navy color, neutral color, which my mom purchased it in a neutral color. They had it in black, navy, neutral everyone had it in our line. I don't know if that was just a coincidence or not, but literally like 10 people all in front of us had that bag. And I felt like, is this basic now? I don't, this isn't working for me. So my other color I have is actually in the same color my mom purchased. Um, and I used that quite a bit. It's just at my other house, so I haven't used it recently. So I decided like, I do love that bag. This is very lightweight, so it's very convenient for travel. I definitely highly recommend this for travel. It's also nylon, so you can easily, if you spilled something on it, you know, it gets dirty, or just if you're a germaphobe like myself, I like to wipe my bags down um, with like Clorox wipes when I get home or the wet wipes, like alcohol wipes, just, you know, some materials you can't do it on. Um, this is one where I use the wet wipes. I don't have any problem just because it's touching the ground or it's in the overhead of an airplane, which a lot of people's things have touched those areas. I want it to be clean when I come home. I won't even allow my tote bag from the airport to come inside my house for like a while until after I've been home, like I have to clean it first. It's this whole thing. So with the recent bag I've been carrying around that I brought to Paris, it's the Saint Laurent black tote. And prior to that, I was bringing around that Lancel Paris uh, tote that says like can on it, like purchased in can last time I was there. Uh, and the, most of those bags are not easy, like I talk, both of those bags are not easy to clean by any means. So um, I wanted another one of the long champ, but so many people have it in the neutrals. So I thought a pink color would be really fun. And um, my mom has it in the neutral. I have like another way of spicing up this bag. So we'll get into that in a minute. Um, let me show my mom it's really fast. Okay, so this one is my mom's in the neutral color. I think this is very classic. I absolutely love this color, color combination. Um, the bag I have is, I think, the same color, if not very similar, 
um, and then I think I have in like black, my grandma has it in navy. Like, we all love this bag it's very lightweight, very convenient for travel because obviously we're traveling, at least most of us are traveling with a lot of belongings, you know, in our carry-on since that's all we have for the whole plane ride. So for me, I carry my vitamins, a book, my laptop, all these things. I typically put my laptop in my carry-on once I've gone through TSA, but um, which some TSA lines tend to not have that anymore at the airports where you don't have to take your laptop out. I'd say it's like 50-50 an hour before you always have to take it out. Um, like London still requires it, like certain Heathrow Airport and stuff. Um, but like LAX doesn't require you to take out your laptop anymore, at least through the line that I go through. Um, and LAX, um, what's it called? Uh, yeah, LAX actually didn't require it, I don't think, last time. And then uh, Santa Ana, like John Wayne or whatever airport, doesn't it require it? I don't know. Some airports have been requiring it, but we have a lot of belongings, you know, when we're traveling. So that's already in itself going to weigh down our bag. Um, so it's just nicer to already go into it with a very lightweight bag. So this is a very classic. I absolutely love this color. I did notice that less people had this color. Most people had the navy and black when I was in that line where like everybody had it. Um, most had it in navy and black, probably because they didn't want it to get dirty, but the material is actually very easy to clean. You just take a wipe to it. Um, just another thing I like about it. And it's also very price friendly. Um, I believe everything from Longchamp, I have two other smaller things from there was around like 350 or 70 euro or something like that. Um, I just put everything on my credit card and had them charge it with euro. So that way it's, you know, the currency difference, um, which is slightly changing now. It's not as good as it was, you know, maybe six months ago, but um, yeah, so then there's that. So this is the next thing from Longchamp or, you know, to one of the last things um, is this little miniature bag. And I, they had this basically in the window. I purchased this also at, um, everything was from Galleries Lafayette in the sense of all of the designer things. Um, Cause I, Longchamp's considered designer in my opinion. It's just very much more affordable designer. It's amazing quality. They also offer leather bags and things like that. This video wasn't sponsored by them. I just genuinely really love Longchamp and the quality of Longchamp. Um, and I like how it's understated. It doesn't say the Longchamp like all over the bag. So this is obviously very miniature. It isn't necessarily a handbag. They had them in the window of, you know, kind of similar to the Prada headband. If you saw that video where I shared that on TikTok and also on YouTube on here. Um, I just assumed that this was a keychain. I wasn't looking very closely because I just thought, why would this be sold alone? Like, what are you going to put in here? So I assumed that they're keychains. And I thought, how cool if I put even more so to make this look even more unique and just vibey. If this was like hanging off here, um, I just thought it's not buttoned right now. Um, but... I thought like how these colors just seemed very unique together, um, very summery, um, which I basically has like my summer travel bag combination here, um, my new summer travel bag combination. But then I realized, my mom pointed out, it doesn't have a keychain on it, it's just the zipper. So I'm now a little bit perplexed as to, let's just look in here real quick, nope, no keychain option. I basically need to purchase something or find some sort of little like, uh, actually, I may have a solution. Um, I have some like these Dior little, not like keychain, they're like bag charms that maybe could tie into here and then I could tie it to the bag. I will find a way because that is the whole reason why I even purchased these colors is because I thought they went really nicely together. It's like a little summer airport vibe. Absolutely love and this is so lightweight. It feels like nothing and yet it's amazing quality and um, as well as all of the long champ bags. And so you can put all of your nice travel things in it, and it's already so lightweight to begin with. So um, it's definitely my favorite travel bag um, in the sense of convenience, and just it's very, it looks nice as well. And there's, of course, the classic color that my mom purchased, and then my mom wanted to do the same thing um, once I, you know, saw these little guys. And so she, um, I think she was looking at a navy or something, but then I thought the burgundy would look nicer, so then she went with the burgundy. And so then she has this, and this is her little summer bag. I just love it. I will find a way, you know, to put these on the bag because there isn't a keychain option. So just keep that in mind if you go and purchase these. They don't have the keychain option. Um, it's something where, you know, you may, might have to purchase something separately or if you own something already that you could kind of loop through here and tie it to the bag. Um, I'm going to have to become a little creative with it, but I will make it happen. Next is, um, my opinion, the fun part because obviously we can kind of buy Louis Vuitton, Prada, Longchamp. You can order that online. Well, Chanel, you have to go through Nessay, but at least you know to me it's kind of like you can do that whenever you know like obviously there's certain people that budget and um you know it's a really exciting thing for some people to be able to purchase something from louis vuitton you know things like that i definitely think that's very nice whenever i see you know someone's profile on instagram and it's like this guy bought his mom a louis bag or something it's a first louis bag he's really excited so it's not to downplay the 
you know, excitement of designer things. There's definitely people in the world where they only end up purchasing one bag and that's like their, you know, prized possession. But for me, I get more into the like pharmacy stuff because to me that's more unique, like some of the stuff you can't buy in the US. Okay, so first thing, um, and my mom purchased things as well, or I think I purchased them for her, but um, basically like we purchased the same thing for each other in the sense of, not for each other, I think I paid for everything actually from this from this stuff, but um, we uh, like I purchased one of each thing, but she already took her stuff, so there's just one thing. Not that that makes a difference, but um, there was like some people asking about my mom's skincare stuff because I have dry skin and she has oily skin. About like her favorite things, and she purchased a lot of the same things I did. So, um, anyways, first things this hairbrush. Um, the one she purchased was I think like a or she picked out or whatever was I think a yellow color more, I think I bought, I never mind, I bought all that stuff for her, she didn't pick it out, um, it was a neutral color. I like kind of, you know, fun colors for, ex like, I don't know, certain things, not for what I'm wearing on a typical day-to-day -day basis, I don't know, it just depends on the item, I just thought this was like fun, you don't really see this little combo. In the US, there is um, that brand Tangle Teaser that has some fun color uh, hairbrushes that are sold in the US, and I believe this brand is on Amazon. They just sell it for more than the price point you would pay if you were actually like in Europe. Um, and I purchased this and most of these things at Fran Pricks, Mono Pricks, and then like a pharmacy, like the pharmacies that have the little green kind of cross looking thing. And this, I don't even remember what this was. I just saw it online and everyone was saying you have to buy this. Um, so I don't remember what this was, but um, I really don't remember. I have to like research this all over again now that because I've been waiting to film this haul before I even use anything. Um, so I have to research this one again. It was something like you can't buy this here. It's like not over the counter for, I think it was like retinol or something. I don't recall. Um, then this one, I don't remember what this was either. Um, so I have to re-research this. This was another thing I saw online of like everyone saying you have to get it. Haven't tried either of those. Um, and then uh, this is a refill. I've already um, used this and I really like this. If you have dry skin, I have very dry skin. Which is weird because I grew up with oily skin and it just changed. Um, I used to live in Northern California, then I moved to uh, like Camarillo by Malibu, um, if you weren't familiar with where that was, uh, for college and I uh, had suddenly had dry skin and that was when I was 17 because I did high school in three years uh, so I moved when I was still a minor for college um, and I did the same thing with college of three years which was pressure for my family to you know, impress them, I guess, I don't know. Um, but uh, they're very big on like education and all that, so everything had to be done at rapid pace. <laughs> but um, anyways, I suddenly had dry skin after I moved, I don't know why, um, I guess a climate change, but even when I moved back, because I did have a time period where I moved back temporarily, um, I, my skin stayed dry, so I don't know if it's just age, something like that. Most people's skin types the same their whole life, so I don't know. Mine's very dry now, even it gets drier <laughs> as the years go on. So this is a really nice moisturizer. Um, I'll have everything linked, I don't know how to pronounce any of this. Lot Creme Concentrate, um, no idea. Um, but I use this as a moisturizer. Do I, is that what it's intended for? I believe so. I'm not 100% sure, that's what I use it for though. Next thing, um, I believe this was, yeah, hyaluronic acid kind of cream. Um, so this is really good again because I have dry skin. Um, anyone should be using hyaluronic acid, but you know, regardless of your skin type, but especially for dry skin, because uh, it provides hydration. So um, this was something, I have to research these again so I can use them properly, but um, it was another one that I read online I haven't tried before that's supposed to be really good. Next um, is this body wash and a lotion. I don't know if this is body or hand lotion, I guess body. Um, so my mom found this online and um, someone that she follows or something had said this was like a really good, uh, scent that it's supposed to remind you of the Amalfi Coast or something and it sold this I purchased at uh, Fran Pricks, so the grocery store um, or market or whatever. Um, I don't know how to pronounce it at all. La Petite Marseilleus, I don't know. Um, Amande Dose is the scent which is I believe the same scent as the L'Occitane which is my favorite scent of theirs, the body lotion, all that that I've shared. Um, it reminds me of L'Occitane a little bit. L'Occitane is obviously better quality, it's also a higher price point. But these are really great if you love L'Occitane and it's just a little bit higher budget or you just wanted to try something different that's French. Um, so this is the body wash and this is the body lotion. Um, we purchased just one at first. I ended up purchasing like 10 because I also wanted to buy one for all of my friends and uh, family members and stuff. But um, we just purchased one to just try in the shower while we were there just to see do we like it or not. Does it live up to the hype of what my mom read about? Um, and I loved it. it. smells amazing. My mom also loved the smell. Um, but she wasn't sure with 
you know, it's hard to tell because we're in France and the water is obviously different than in the US. So she had like a little bit of like a film or something left on her skin that she felt, not like film, but she said she felt like, you know, when you use a soap bar, that's a kind of a lower quality soap bar, can kind of leave you kind of like this when you're like washing yourself. I don't know the terminology to describe that experience, but uh, she had noticed this, that a little bit with this. I didn't notice it at all, um, but I'm also someone where I definitely travel a lot more than my mom. Uh, we, she just definitely probably traveled more than me in her lifetime, but um, in the recent years I travel more than her and, and I seem to adjust a lot better through traveling frequently to different water types. Um, so it could have been the water because I didn't experience it, but um, yeah, so I really like this. And then the lotion, it's the same scent. I haven't tried the lotion, I just purchased it since we ended up really liking the body wash. My mom liked the scent so much that she didn't care about the fact I was doing that little like I don't know if that makes any sense to anybody, but when you're using kind of a low quality soap bar and it kind of does that like where there's like this high quality when you're washing your body and then there's like, I don't know if that makes any sense to anyone, but she noticed that a little bit with this, but she couldn't tell if it was the water type. She's more sensitive than I am to things like that. Um, I didn't notice it at all, so I really like it um, and the scent's really nice and the price is very friendly. Next is um, all of my gum. I put everything in a Ziploc for um, like all of the gum in a Ziploc. It was originally up here, but I also had gum to give to friends and stuff. Um, I wanted to give some to like Brittany and Brandon um, and then to Lauren. <laughs> I don't have any other friends <laughs> other than them, so those are the only ones I was purchasing for. But, um, and then I had, I think, for my grandma and my mom gum as well. Um, so I purchased this one, I haven't tried this one just to try, and then I like this one. And does it taste different? Is it, it's, if anything, it's probably not as good as American gum for being realistic. I just like the fact that I know it's from Paris, that I know it's France, from um, French. Uh, and it just, for some reason, the vibes are better with it. So I, I always stock up on it when I'm there. I would say that American gum probably is better quality, at least the ones I've tried compared to that. Um, the taste of it lasts longer, but um, I just, for the vibes, I need it to be French, so. Next are some toothpaste. So this is my favorite toothpaste. You can purchase this. Um, when I first started trying this, you couldn't really purchase it so easily in the US. Now they sell this at um, many stores, like Revolve sells this. Uh, you know, a derm store I think sells this. E-Cosmetics, that website, um, that's I think based in Florida, sells this. Many websites now, it's not so difficult to become, uh, to get a hold of the, this gum nowadays. But when I first started trying this, it was a situation where I had to buy it when I was there or I had to like find a website that sold it. Um, and I would have to stock up. So now you can purchase these online. You know, it's nothing um, where you don't, you don't have to be in France to purchase this, but by any means anymore. Um, this is my favorite gum. I like the classic strong mint one best. Um, and then I like the like whitening mint one. Those are my two favorites. I just prefer the strong mint more because I want to make sure I feel really clean. And this one, because it's strong, really makes you feel like your mouth is real clean. Um, as opposed to they have other ones like Aquatic Mint. I think my mom liked that one better because she doesn't want something so um, abrasive in the sense of the being so strong. I like it to be strong. Um, I'm like that with everything, like coffee. I haven't had coffee in a while. I'm taking a little break because I noticed it was making me a little crazy. Like I was like this all the time from coffee and um, I was just getting too rowdy with it. So I'm taking a little break from it, but I like strong coffee as well. Um, so it's just different preferences. Um, if you're not someone where you like strong things, whether it's a scent or I don't like it for perfume though, I don't know, everyone's different, but maybe try the aquatic mint or the whitening mint. This one is stronger um, than those. So I have this, this was the last one they had left. So I just purchased the last one. I saw this online, so I haven't tried this before. It's the NUX um, Honey Lip Care. Uh, it's just like a little like lip oil gloss thing, I think. I haven't used it yet. And then this, um, I've, this is a refill, so I've already used this before. It's the NUX like body oil that you like spritz on. Um, and you can use it like in your hair, you know, whatever. I think you can use it in your, for your face, but I wouldn't personally use this on my face just because, yeah, it says face, body, hair. I just would rather use a product because I have very sensitive skin that's acne prone. I haven't had any breakouts in a long time, but that's because I know what products work for me and what ones don't. I don't chance anything that's new or from a brand that I'm not sure about. And to me, if it can be put on your body and hair, it's probably not as good for sensitive skin for the face. Um, so I'm just gonna use that for body and hair. And then I have this NUX, um, it's SPF 30 sunscreen. And then this, I have this like free gift, what came with this other one with it for the same price, after sun, a hair and body shampoo. Um, I'm not so certain, again, I'm very like creature of habit. I use the Pureology 
Um, I have very thick hair that's frizzy. This doesn't look like it because I style it to be this way. Um, my hair would probably be out to here and it's very curly as well if I wore it naturally. Um, I have to go through a whole styling process that I have. I found my routine that works for me and using that Dyson Supersonic Hair Dryer, it's the new one um, that I've been using lately, helps so much in order to get this toned down and dried very quickly because I have very thick curly hair. Um, like in between wavy and curly. So for me, I don't know about using this for my hair, but I will use it for body. Um, just because I it takes, I can only use like Kerastase shampoos at the moment, um, and then Pureology, that Hydrate Purple Bottle. Everything's linked in my like um, shop mine, I think in my Amazon, everything will be like in below if you just want my general favorite products, I have a link for that as well. Um, and that Pureology conditioner, life changing, it smells amazing, it makes a huge difference with my hair. Um, and that Redken, I did sponsor that uh, Redken, what's it called again, Spray Smooth. Um, but I love that product as well. It's like one of the few things that helps tame down my frizz. Um, I don't sponsor things I don't believe in and I love that product. So I don't know about using that for my hair, but um, I have my set routine on what I use for my hair, so I'm not so sure about that. And then I just purchased everyone, you know, my friends and family, a uh, males. They also have one for males, but this one's the female one. Um, this is Narta, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, 48 hour deodorant. Um, and this is again, just for the vibes, just so I know I'm using like, it just looks more, like, cool. You know, you're sitting, and more cool is not proper grammar. I just was going to use a different word. It looks cooler um, when this is sitting out in your vanity, in my opinion. Then we have this, um, it's like little French barrettes. Um, and they definitely sell these for a lot more in the U.S., these and the headbands. These there, I don't know, they were like 3 euro or something. It was not, not anything um, that was, it was very reasonably priced, basically. So I liked those as well. Just simple, um, keep your hair back. And then... Uh, this hairbrush, I haven't tried it yet. The other hairbrush I shared, I've tried, and I really love that hairbrush, and I still use the one I purchased last year every day. I just, because I use it to blow dry my hair, obviously the heat of the blow dryer can melt the um, these, um, the brush a little bit, so I have to purchase a new one every like six months or so. Um, I just thought this one looked nice, like this would be very cute on your vanity, um, and obviously I intend to use it as well. I just thought this one looked cool. Um, where did I purchase this one? I think Monoprix as well. Um, most of everything was from Monoprix. Only a few things were from like Fran Prix in the pharmacy. Next thing is I've seen this all over TikTok and I'm not someone that usually likes to think, oh, if I see it all over TikTok, I need to have it um, by any means. But then I saw my friend who has really nice skin was using this in one of her TikToks. Um, and so I know a lot of people rave about this. Um, I just, for me, like I have what works for me. So if something's being completely like raved about, online it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work for me so i like to look at someone that i know has similar skin type as me and i knew my friend obviously has similar skin type as me not that that's obvious but i knew because of knowing her that we have the same skin type and i saw her using this saying this is like a holy grail one of her tiktoks so um i had to purchase it this is the walida skin food um it's like a moisturizer so um i'm confident that this will work for me and then this is a refill it's the avene uh gentle exfoliating gel because my grandma took my last one not like took it she was visiting me and she wanted an exfoliating wash and um this was the only one i had at the time right now i'm using the sicily one which i really love um but this one's just like a nice very price friendly one and again it's french so it's a vibe um and i love avene a lot of avene i've never tried an avene product that hasn't worked for my skin so it's a very safe brand if you haven't tried anything and you don't want to chance things um, but you want to try like French skincare, Avene is a nice brand to go with. Um, everything's very gentle and works for my skin. And then I have this, um, what was this again? I don't remember what this was either. This was from um, the pharmacy. You just have to ask for these things. So the things that were from the pharmacy, um, I had gone to a pharmacy when I first got there and I didn't see anything. And I was like, where is all of this stuff? Is everyone buying it? Is it all sold out? And so then I went to a pharmacy with my mom. And then I realized they have it just behind the counter, but it's not, it, it is over the counter in the sense of you just ask for it. So um, I just asked, like pointed to what I wanted and asked for it. Um, so just if you go into a pharmacy and you're looking around for those products, um, cause I know a lot of you were buying the, just from the stories that I was posting, uh, you have to ask for it. So just keep that in mind. Um, and then we have this La Roche-Posay um, sunscreen. You can purchase this online. I think they even sell this at like Ulta now, this brand. Um, but I haven't seen the 50 one. I think the 60 one's the one they sell at like Ulta. I'm sure you could purchase this easily on um, some website online or whatever. But um, 
in a sense if you live in the US, uh, but I just thought it would be, I don't know, I didn't realize how easily accessible this brand was until I came back, otherwise I probably would just order this online. Um, but I go through spray sunscreens very quickly, sunscreen is very important, so I have that. And then the last thing, everything's in Ziploc bags because I didn't want anything exploding on the way home. Um, is This is new, I haven't tried this, Mim Itika uh, SPF 20 sunscreen lip balm. So this is just, again, because I love sunscreen, um, if you don't want to age, wear sunscreen. So. That is everything that I purchased in Paris, and um, it's not a whole lot of things. I wasn't there for very long, and my mom was sick most of the time, so there wasn't as much ability to go shopping, which is probably nicer for my pocketbook. Um, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.